What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Today guys, today we are going to make some massive progress in the greenhouse up above the base. But first I wanted to run something by you. I've been toying around with this idea that instead of having these stone floors in the base, what if we replaced it with glass? And that way, we could actually see everything that's going on underneath the base. Because, to be honest, I kind of forgot. <laughs> I forgot this was even down there. Uh, you know, we made this huge sugarcane farm. I started a kelp farm and didn't finish it. Because, like I said, I just... You know, it's, it's kind of that saying, out of sight, out of mind. You guys ever heard that saying? Yeah, that's kind of how it was. We covered up the basement at this place. And then, and then I forgot about it. And the whole time, it's been producing oodles and oodles that's a word of, of sugarcane look at this we filled up all these double chests all the way to here and it's gonna work its way over and suddenly we're gonna be overflowing with sugarcane that i completely forgot we even had so <laughs> what do you guys think you guys like the idea now the one thing i'm a little worried about is you can see once we put the glass in it gets a little dark in here so we might have to do something more with maybe some chandeliers or something Anyway, just wanted to get your opinion on that. What do you guys think? Glass floor in the base all the way around could look good. A little extra lighting to make up for the darkness. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on that. But now, I think we need to get to the top and we need to build out this greenhouse. We've done it. No more sea lanterns. Oh my goodness. They're all covered up. We've got this amazing pathway going through here so you can just travel along it and admire all the greenery that's going to eventually be put in here. I'm talking about custom trees and bushes and maybe some water features, things like that. It's going to look amazing. I think I'll get some help from Scar. Maybe just some tips from him. Maybe he can come in and do a few examples for me. I'll have to talk to him about that. That. So this looks so much better now that we're not seeing just a sea of sea lanterns. <laughs> but uh, so that problem solved. But we've we've in turn made a new problem, guys. This up here has turned into one heck of a mob farm. Oh yeah, at night. Mm -hmm. it, whenever you know B Dubs isn't on and people actually let uh, let the server go to night mode. Uh, this is this is a mob farm. It, it, and you saw it probably in the time lapse. I got just mauled by mobs as soon as it got dark. So not good. So we're going to do this, I think. We're going to pop some holes in the grass here, cover it with leaves. All the sea lanterns are still directly underneath. So, so that's, that's kind of good. But uh, if I space them out like this, we should be able to mob proof it. And then kind of once the greenery comes in, we'll figure it out. You know, if we need to, uh, to put a, a little tree on top of this, we can add some more lighting, maybe cover or carpet or something we'll we'll get creative with the lighting in here for sure but i think right now just to you know make sure that we don't have mobs spawning on us as we continue to build out this area i think i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this whole place is lit up and anywhere where we've missed half slabs across the top there i'll get those done as well because mobs can also spawn on top of those walls which isn't good all right, the lights are now all in and we should be mob proofed, I hope. I don't think there's going to be any dark spots. Maybe around there, the lights get a little funky on those bends, so we may have to do some tweaking. I'll keep my eye on it. We'll see if there's any mob spawning. But you might be wondering, why is he holding the shovels? Why are we doing the shovel shuffle again? Is there a boomer's job today? So, sorry, no, no, there's not. There's no boomer's job today. But I do need to do some digging, and I haven't done that in a while. But you guys know, when you think of a greenhouse, what do you think of? 
You think of all the glass that is around the greenhouse. The entire building basically is usually made out of glass. In this case, we're going to make a giant glass dome. And you can imagine the size of this thing. Just look at the space. We need to get digging. We need a bunch of sand. I think I needed like nine shulker boxes full of sand that we're going to have to turn into glass. And then that will be used to make the dome of the greenhouse. So, yep, I'm heading to the desert. I got plenty of shovels. Let's get digging. So while I'm collecting some sand here, I wanted to tell you guys some very exciting news. Me and my buddy Skizzle Man, you see, we have brought back a very popular series here on the channel called Naked and Scared, except this season, it's actually on our new channel called Imp and Skiz. There'll be a link in the description, of course, and hopefully on screen for you right now if you want to check that out. We are starting season 18 over there, and it is amazing. We are basically playing Minecraft in ultra hardcore mode. We have 21 Minecraft days to complete a randomly selected challenge without dying, and we have so much fun. So uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, I highly suggest you check it out if you've never seen it before. And if you have been catching the previous 17 seasons here on this channel, I just wanted to make sure you were aware it is now over on the Imp and Skiz channel, which is also where we're doing our Skyblock Evolution series. So feel free to check that out. And we also have some animated shorts on that channel that are super funny and we're having more to come in the future. We're working on one right now and hopefully that'll be out soon as well. So really encourage you guys to go check out the Imp and Skiz channel. I would appreciate a subscribe over there as well, of course. And I hope you guys enjoy those series. Nine shulker boxes full of sand collected. We are back at the base, dropping all the sand into the Smelterator 9002. You can see the cart delivering it. All the sand into the furnaces here and smelting it down. So now I need to get all of this smelted into glass, dye all that glass light blue, and then we're going to take it up top and place it all to make the dome of the green house. was a lot of building. Oh my goodness. I think there was nearly 15,000 glass blocks I had to place in order to make this dome. And you can see it's not just a dome. There's something really cool in the middle here. And this is going to be the coolest part of this whole thing. I've been excited about this. I had this idea to have basically a waterfall type thing here in the middle. So you can see I've kind of set up these steps here that are waterlogged. And I'm hoping if I did this right, that we can actually put some water in up here, have it rain down and those steps should catch the water as we go through here. So let's do this. Let's use some regular ice here to make this easy. And if we just put this in and then break it all down, it should turn into water and create a really cool waterfall effect. All right, here goes nothing. Let's see if it gets caught on the steps here. We'll just break all the ice. And is it flooding down there or is it getting caught? I hope it's getting caught. And these ones should just go into the fountain area down below and get caught that way. So, oops, I broke glass. That's not good. At least we didn't spring a leak there. All right, let me break this all apart and we'll step back and see how it looks. There we go. The water is flowing. Let's go ahead and go on through it here. And hopefully this has the look we're going for. Yeah, you can see this is perfect. These stairs are keeping this from flowing out. So you just kind of walk through this nice water curtain as you come out of this elevator. And that is going to be awesome. And let's take a look. Let's step back and see this thing from further away. 
Oh, yes, I love that effect just raining down there in the middle. Oh, this place is turning out wonderfully. Let's fly around, see this from the outside. I do also love that I can fly into this from the top, of course. But, oh, yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. This is coming along quite nicely. I can't wait to get more plants and things in there and to make this an actual greenery. I do still need to talk to Scar. I want to get his advice. I want to see if I can hire him to maybe just come in and do a couple demonstrations of, you know, plantern bushes and plants and trees and all that kind of stuff. And then I can take that as inspiration to build my own and learn from it. That's going to be amazing. But oh my goodness, guys, look at how much we have accomplished so far today. We did all these paths, all these planters. We did all of that dome right there. Like I said, it was close to 15,000 glass blocks. And then we got that really cool water curtain centerpiece flowing into the fountain there in the middle. Oh, I'm excited. I am so excited. This was a huge undertaking. It took us a lot of hours to get this done. So if you appreciate the effort, please consider hitting that like button. I would truly appreciate that support here. But uh, I think that's enough building for today. Actually, a little while back, I signed up for a standoff tournament, which is Azuma's new armor stand game in the minigames district. And I found out that the, the, in the tournament, I was pitted against iJevin. So I need to meet up with iJevin and duel it out with him in the standoff game, and we'll see who comes out victorious. All right, so before we face Jevin in standoff, let's take a look at what standoff is all about. But you know what? Actually, I want to show you guys this amazing minigame district that Tango and Etho have been working on. This is crazy cool looking. Of course, went with a nether theme. We've got all these amazing pillars. And so there's lots of little nooks and crannies here for mini games to be added to this area. And I can't wait to see all the mini games that Hermes come up with. I have a mini game in mind that I want to get working on very soon now that this place is ready to go. But I believe this is the entrance to Hello. Okay, so yeah, might need to do a little more mob proofing in here if you don't want your cool game to be blown up. Anyway, in here, I believe leave if I'm now I'm like having to check is there any more creepers so the rules are pretty simple you get to choose how many stands you're gonna put on the board take turns putting them down put your helmets on them so you know whose is whose and then uh, decide who gets to go first and basically you can only strike your own stand there's special moves involved and when you have the last armor stands remaining you win the game so pretty simple there's other rules here lots of pages to to be done here uh there's this turn-based thing obviously strategies involved because there's special skills and uh yeah five special moves and that is going to be the key is trying to understand when to do those moves and it looks like he's going to have some sort of customization thing coming soon so let's go out here and take a look at the playing field hopefully that gives you a better idea it looks like somebody's already got some armor stands laid out and the idea with this is really cool if you have a knockback sword which there should be one in here you can hit the stand see and it goes and then the idea is that you want to hit it into the other person's armor stand and when the bases of the armor stand touch that means you've eliminated one of their armor stands so yeah let's see if we hit it really quick you can get rid of it but if you hit it just once the armor stand stays and these are the spots you can set it on so those are the basic rules i think i'll meet up with jevin now and we'll play a game and i think you guys will understand a lot better as we get playing jevin my friend we have been pitted against each other in an epic duel of standoff you may be a twitch rivals teammate <laughs> but I will show no mercy on the oh, field of battle. Today, I'm just a rifle. That's all. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, <laughs> man. I, I think we both have a handle on how to play the game now. Yeah. Not great at it. I've only played a few rounds. But uh, I will... Uh, how about this? I'll start off with the stand placing, and then I'll let you have the first actual turn. Is that cool? That was your downfall already. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should let you go first. Okay, there so we, we go. gotta do this whole like pick a spot back and forth thing. I'm just gonna try to spread my guys out. Go ahead. There we go. And I'll go over here. Try to get some distance in between some, them here. 
some okay. strats. All right, all right. And I don't really know what to do with this last guy. No, so me I'll either. Just pop him down. Okay. Um, hold oh, on, hold on. Helmets. Oh, I got four. We're doing six v six. I'm. I must six have missed v one. Six v six. There we go. I, I put all of them down. Oh I, no! I, all my all my stands are backwards. Do you think that matters? <laughs> I don't think so. They're all like facing the wrong they're way. Like, we don't want to look. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They're turning their back to you already. Okay. All right, so man. For, you get to go first. Hmm. Okay, guys. So there's we a few have things we can do here. We hmm. have strats. We have fishing rods, and we have knockback swords. Yep. Plus, we have all of these fancy moves. So I think that I am going to just start with a regular move. I don't... There we go. Right there. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can reach you with that. So I'm just going to do a little tap, tap, tap right over here. Okay. That way you right. still can't I'm, reach I'm gonna, me, I don't um, think. I'm going double move, right? Ooh, already you're going to use the uh, specials right off the bat. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do double move. So for the people watching, um, double move, I get to take two turns in a row. So uh -huh. I'm going to use knockback one and then crit jump. Ooh. Oh my God, that was so bad. It didn't go very far, did it? <gasps> oh, oh no. That's super close. <laughs> oh. uh, now I don't think I have a choice but to use my precision oh, if yeah. I want to take you out. Okay, so we'll pop off the precision here. Um, I don't know no, how to do this. back one, betrayed me. Uh, <laughs> ready? Uh, don't go too far. Oh, oh perfect. Okay, yes. okay. Okay, okay. I oh, there's a creeper. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Whoa, no, 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 no. What, this game's not safe? <laughs> How is oh there a creeper God. in here, man? Oh Almost blew God. the place up. <laughs> good catch, wow. dude. Good catch. All right. Uh, which one's mine? Oh, yeah. I'm gold. Right. Uh, okay, there all we go. Right, one right. of yours down, man. But I had to use a special uh, to get it. I cannot believe that I got betrayed by knockback one like that. <laughs> it didn't do much, did it? Okay. No. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and just go for something here just to get my guys out there. <clears throat> Oh, I might have given oh, you a shot to I get can, me. I think I can get that one. I with think you can. Uh, ooh. Dude, are you kidding me? Ooh, two pixels. Oh my god. That's oh, the worst luck ever. I need my precision right now to get him out of there. You know what? Um, I'm gonna retreat. I'm oh, gonna retreat. good one. Good I'm one. Gonna good one. I'm gonna bring him back. I'm gonna bring him back home. Get him All away right. from you. That's way too close. If I had another precision, I would have definitely, you oh, know, yeah. I was going to use it that time. But oh, does, do you get to actually use a move when you precision? Use the fishing rod to, oh, for your, or no, no what's the retreat one? I think do you that get to was actually, my move, right? Okay, uh, move making, when you're, oh. No, before making your move, so you oh, get to go again. I still get to go. Nice. Okay. Oh, I could. Yeah, I know. I, I was going to hit that one. I was going no! for that one. Oh, overshot okay. it. All right, I'm going for my precision. Oh. Put that up there. That was too strong of yeah. a hit. All right. All right. So attach. Okay. Oh, come on, baby. You got yes, it. You got, got it. it. I Wrong set board. myself up Let's go. for you there. Oh, man. Okay. Now, the precision one, I didn't take another move after the precision. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. For your turn. Okay. That was the right way. Just making sure. Just following the rules. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's you're see. Good. You're good. Switch spots. Double move left. Take their turn. Uh, I'm going to go double move. I'm okay. Go double move. I don't know. I why think I, you can. I think center can hit mine if with two two crits. You gotta I, be careful though. That I double hit so. though. It's <clears throat> doozy. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm you might try. have put yourself in a bad position I there with that knockback one. Try knockback one. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. Okay. 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 Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and use my retreat. I think Make, <laughs> before making your move. Okay. There we go. So put retreat up there. Oh man. I think I should have practiced this game more because I just keep. Well, underestimating how far these things go. Yeah, it, it hits so far, and sometimes a knockback one screws you. Man. There you go. So now it's my turn. Oh, okay. you can uh, totally. I think you can get me from there. I'm going to try. Knockback two. Not to. Not to the, the, the block is in the way. <laughs> I got to find a spot where I can You're hit like, you from you here. You can like sprint run to get the crit, right? I think I can get you from right here. Oh, oh come on. No. Okay, I got to get my guy out of there. I might accidentally hit your guy, though. That's, That's what fine. I'm a little afraid of. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to... I'll try to stay back as far as I can. If I... Do I need to crit this one? Or is it going to go that far? I'm going to take a chance. I'm just going to hit it. Oh, oh! Good shot. One pixel. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well played, good oh, sir. Thank you, but thank you. Uh -oh. You have put yourself in attack position. I, oh, yeah. Oh, no. 
Uh, Good luck uh, getting the right stand. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. How are you going to do this? Oh, you hit the carpet, though, I think. Uh, there we go. Nailed it. You got it. Wow. Okay. I did. My turn. All my guys are way back here still. Jeez. Oh, it's 4v4 now. Okay. Yeah, it is. All right. We're keeping up with each other. And go. All right. What do I have left? I, I have don't. take their turn. So we'll take their turn as this before you move, take an additional strike, moving the opponent's armor stand. Hmm, that's a good one, but I'm not sure that I want to use it. Hmm, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to use... No, no, no. I'm going to use a regular hit this time, actually. I'm going to okay. save my specials. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no way I can reach you there. I'm going to take a big risk and see if I can get it. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, good shot. So oh. the, it looks like the run crit does way the more. The run crit is working. Yeah. I got okay. One? okay, there we go. Took you out, but I am in danger unless you can get one. At, oh, uh oh, that was hard. I I should have ran faster. Oh, let's see. I think knockback one might get knockback, that. Just a regular knockback one hit, maybe, maybe. Yeah. No. Mm. It, oh. All right, I'm going knockback one. Oh, dude, are oh. you kidding me? <laughs> what? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I do this? <sighs> No, I accidentally hit yours. You could, you, you might have to put that one back. Like it was like. Here, it was just standing like right there. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no! Gosh, everything's all. <laughs> oh no! Okay, this guy I got of yours. And yeah, then, yeah. Oh, this is difficult. And then I was like here. There was one, <laughs> one like right there, and one like right there. Pretty okay, much. we'll try to reset this. Uh, okay. Somewhat back to normal. Hopefully, it's close. Hmm. I think it's your turn. This is not good. What do I do? I can take your turn or switch spots. I am going to take your turn, I think. All okay. right. Oh, so, so you get to hit one of my guys and then you yeah. get to hit one of your guys. That's what that is. Okay. Yep. All right. So going for the crit. Ooh. Okay. I might be able to reach that. Uh, you might with a nice knockback two crit. I think you can get there. Oh, oh, short, short. Yeah. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? This is tough. I don't even think, I think a knockback would definitely send me past this one. Oh yeah, I think so. So I'm just gonna leave them there. That's good. They're kind of like at a stalemate right there, those two guys. Yeah, they really are. A knockback one probably would even get me past you there. So how about a knockback two from here, maybe? Oh, that's gonna be close. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it though. Uh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh my god! I'm too strong. Okay, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try knockback one here. I think. Oh, you got it! You got, got it. it! You nailed it! Okay, okay. okay. Knockback one. We're that was perfect. All right, but let's see if you then put yourself in jeopardy. Is it touching? Oh, oh no! Oh no, my god! Man. Oh my god! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, what what, what, what happened? What was that? Oh, you skeleton. got a skelly shooting at you. <laughs> you pulled him in with the <laughs> nice. All right, I'm going to take a nap so we don't have more, you know, uninvited guests. Excellent. Are we Man, safe? I wonder if, I can, I, wonder if I can hit yours from here. All right, I'm going for it. All right. Oh, you got it. You nailed it. Clutch moves, baby. Clutch moves. Oh, no, you're catching right back up. I was like feeling really good that I, I felt like I was dominating there for a minute. And now all of a sudden I don't feel so good. Uh oh, two and now two. Now what happens if I land my guy right, right in the middle of these two? Do I take oh, out dude, both that, your stands I, in one I, shot? You know what? I bet that, does, that totally counts. I would think so, right? Okay, oh let's God. see if I can no. get this. No. Oh, oh, you got one I of them. You got at one least I got one. I'll take. I'll take right, one. What do I have left? Oh, I, man, have, that would have been I have. I have switch spots. Hmm. I am gonna take the opportunity to switch spots. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to take this helmet and switch it with this guy. Oh, I see. Get out of the gal. You know, range yep. a little. There we go. Okay. And you still get to go, right? Yeah. I think you still get so. a turn after that. So. What are we gonna do? Okay, okay. Now I got two guys left. I really need to be careful with what we do here. I want to. I'm just gonna do this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of stuff. Oh, I hit them both. A Whoops. little. Oh my God! This could be the game right here. Oh, oh no! Okay, okay, okay. No. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I think. I don't think. I think. I don't know what to do, Jeff. Uh 
Knockback Sorry, one I can't never help you. really goes that far. Mm. No, knockback one's terrible. Don't listen to it. <laughs> We're gonna do it right here though and hope that it just <gasps> Love tap. No, oh, it's not touching. Yes. Oh, man. All right. All right. We're going knockback one here. You got this. Oh, you totally got this. Oh, no. Do I have anything that's going to help me? Hang on. Uh, switch spots. Take their turn. I'm going to I'm gonna take your turn. All right. All right. Good luck, So I get, a, I get a hit luck. twice. Okay. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to move you back just a little bit. Oh, I keep hitting my own. I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, put that I mean, back, no, it, I? I mean, you can. I mean, it was literally just like standing right where I am. If you want to move it back. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's so, do that. I don't think that's supposed it to. It was move. just like it was like pretty much just right, like right there. there. Okay. Yeah. All right. And oh, I don't have a. Oh, it, it was it was silver helmet, right? That was your yeah, guy. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So Man, now. I think you got me now. I think so with the knockback uh, too. I think that's gonna hit it. Yes. No! Gotcha! Uh, good oh game, my goodness. Good that game. was close, dude. That was back and forth. Yeah. Holy smokes. All right. <laughs> dude, yeah, very good game. Very oh, good man. game. That was that that's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I could imagine that's... like all the different modes you can do, right? Um Yeah. Put everything back here. I'm all confused. Like I got turned around when that Skelly came. <laughs> so I'm like, what's Oh my switch? god. <laughs> Awesome. Um, oh, I have all your helmets here. Yeah, all right, man, so... let's clean this up and uh, congratulations on a good game. But uh, you're congratulating I'm, me on a loss. Wow, I'm you're congratulating you on a well fought yeah. battle. Yeah, you know, good, it, luck, good it luck in the semifinals. And uh, oh, dude, I'm probably gonna go against like Cub, who beat the the person that like invented the game. You know, probably yeah. <laughs> Cub, Cub is just like a mastermind at pretty much everything. So yeah, yeah. All, all right. right. Well, good I playing will, uh, with you, man. Yeah, good game, dude. Mm. Peace out, dude. See you, man. Well, there you have it, a hard-fought battle against Jevin, but we came out victorious in the end, and now we move on to the next round of the tournament. Oh, I feel like I should probably get a little more practice in before the next round. It was hard to judge how far these stands would actually travel, but that's all right. We had a good time, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.